Hey guys, this is Veron from Speak of the Stars, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are both unboxing and using the Prima Confection watercolor in the palette called Complexion. Now this palette, now this rather, this palette is focused on skin tones, and it's supposed to make it easier and faster for you to draw humans, I guess. And if you tend to draw characters or people a lot, this set would be super handy to have around. So it comes in 12 pans, or half pans I guess, and it comes in this really, really beautiful packaging. As a graphic designer, I am super in bliss seeing this. So let's quickly read what's on the back. So the watercolor confections are artist grade, high quality, and highly pigmented watercolor pans. The watercolor confections are sized perfectly for artists on the go. These professional grade paints provide bright, intense, smooth, and long-lasting colors that will work beautifully for an art or mixed media project. It includes 12 colors, a tin box with two fold-out mixing palettes, and a black swatch card. So because I was really hyped in the office, I, I received the watercolors in the office. I received them like yesterday, two days ago I guess because it's Sunday today. But um, I received them in the office. It was a really, really slow day. There's almost no people in the office and I was done with my work at like 12 lunchtime so when I received them I was like super hyped and I quickly unwrapped them for from the plastic and paper wrapping that they come in it was like a kid eating candy to be honest because like I had this pile of wrapping beside me and I also swatched it on the card it, it comes with in the office but you won't miss out on any of the swatching goodness because I swatch it again for my personal um, swatch book thing that you see on the screen right now. I actually do have a video where I swatched all of my art materials to create this thing. <clears throat> so it comes in 12 colors and I'll read out all of the colors it comes with. So it comes with number 12 black, so that's on the top left row. It's a really beautiful deep black. We have number 14 coconut, which is a tannish color I guess it's somewhat I'd say warm toned um, number 24 is tiki which is a really nice rich brown number 31 is called peach cobbler which is the sort of standard normal skin tone you'll usually get with the watercolor set so with my sakura koi and my eh, uh, with my sakura koi and my Reeves watercolor I would say Peach Cobbler would be the closest to like, the flesh tint and to Jean Brillant. It's the normal skin tone that you get. Number 41 is called Lemonade, which is this really nice pink sweet color. And I feel it would really work for people who like doing those blushy things. Like You know how some artists would put like a reddish blush on the cheeks, on the nose, on the chin? Um, I think it would, be, it would work well for them. I don't do that personally, but... I feel like it would work for them. And then on the last for the top row would be number 49 called Gold. It's a really, really shimmery, super nice gold. I, really, I love it. On the bottom row, we have number 87 called Cavern on the left side. Um, again, a nice sort of tamer brown, burnt shanna ish. Am I right? Yeah, I think it's burnt shanna ish. Um, number 41 is called Bear, which is a cool brown not super saturated brown we have number 95 which is called redwood which is a nice uh, reddish color <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe all these colors you see it on screen anyway number 98 is called chant uh, which is like a peach cobbler but more yellow and reddish number 101 is called namaste which seems similar to coconut but it's a bit more cooler I think it's a bit more brighter as well and then you have number 105 which is called Unite which is like Kiki and I'd say Redwood combined so you get a really good selection of colors I feel like if you like drawing diverse people or you draw a different skin tones a lot these would be super super handy and I got these because I felt like I needed to diversify my skin tone a lot more because I can mix my own using what I have but I'm usually scared to mix really dark colors because I don't know if it'll turn out well or if it'll turn out like it would belong to a human skin tone, I guess. 
So having these would kind of push me to draw more diverse skin tones for my characters. Because right now they're all like this nice... I won't say nice. They're this... They're this... They're all this uniform sort of peachy color. And they only really vary when I draw them digitally. But I think this will start forcing me to be a bit more creative with skin tones. Also if you hear flapping, it's... I'm just fanning myself. It's so hot right now. I turned off the fan because I'm recording. I don't want that in my audio. My aircon's off as well because electricity is so expensive. Oh, and and this country. Well, no, don't end this country, but it's so hot. Anyway, so yeah, we're done with the swashing process, and I will now do an art piece with it. I will also give my really quick thoughts about this palette. I am no professional reviewer. I've done like one review in my life right now. But, you know, as someone who does watercolor color a lot, I think I can, you know, give my impressions, I guess. So for this piece, I actually drew the, the like, the, the, what do you call that? The sketch in the office again because I was bored as hell. And I held myself back from completing that piece in, in the office. So I'm doing the lines right now. And I wanted to do a slightly darker skinned girl than what I usually would do. So. I wouldn't be using peach cobbler, but instead I started off with, I think, cavern. So it was like a darker skin tone right away. A more moreno. Uh, is that offensive? In the Philippines, it's not offensive. I'm sorry if I offend anyone, but uh, you know, some terms in the Philippines are sort of okay. But I find out later on online it's so, apparently a slang word, but who knows? Just, you know, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Not that much people see this with you anyway. Anyway, like guessing, I wanted to draw like a... At first I wanted to do a forest nymph, and then I realized I don't have greens. Well, I do have, but they're in a different fan set, and I wanted to use the complexions as my main watercolor set for this piece. In the end, I didn't really follow that 100%, and I would mix in two other paints. So we are using the Prima Watercolor Confections Complexion. We are also using the Kuro Tahigan Saitandi Watercolors. And we are also using the Sakura Koi Watercolor. So I'm using all three watercolor pants that I have. I should have really included the reads anyway since I might as well. <laughs> anyway, so I used... Um, I think I used the Sakura Koi as like the tertiary palette, but it was mostly the and the Desprima confections that worked on this piece. And they really act as really mixed really well. I didn't have any problems using the two paints together. Uh, nothing really granulated or you know did anything weird, so that's good. And for the Primas themselves, they're actually super pigmented. I think they come with some sizing on top when you receive them because it was a bit it's, it felt like I needed to dilute something or melt something when I was watching it before I could get the true force or impact of the pigment. But once I got the first that layer of something on top down, uh, when I, during the consecutive uses, it was super pigmented, it was easy to use. Um, it looks a bit dry and like hard, I guess. But when you start putting water on it, it starts like really giving you a lot for your it's a bang for your buck to be honest. I got it it's not super expensive to be honest. I'm not sure how much it retails outside but um for something in the less than 1500 it's super good. It's a good good palette. So if you're looking for a good watercolor palette to invest in, I'd say either go for the Sakura Koi CHA still love to this day even though it's been a few months so yeah um either that if you want like really brilliant bright colors or if you want something that's a bit more i guess easier or less intimidating to work with these prima watercolor confections are a good starter palette as well <laughs> and i just lost my voice what the heck Whew. voice come back okay so um where was i so I did say I wanted to do a forest elf, but I felt like it would A be too obvious, B yeah, it's too obvious. So instead, I decided to go with an elf, and she's still sort of a nature elf, but her color scheme is a bit more sea water-ish. I think I'll do a um, 
either a nature or a forest elf, an actual forest elf later, but she looks a bit more like a sea elf with the blue outfit and all. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. It was, I was super hyped for it. Uh, not sponsored, obviously, but I did buy this with my own money for my birthday. Uh, it's my birthday gift to myself of sorts, and I'm so happy I got them. One thing though, I guess because also it's pretty staining, but um, if you want your palettes nice and clean like I do, though my little colors aren't that clean anymore, um, if after using you might want to like use a wet wipe or use your brush and some tissue to clean the palette because I noticed that after I used it and it sort of dried a little bit, um, there's a little bit of staining on the palette after that. That's the purpose of it, but if you're the type that likes keeping things really nice and clean, uh, I suggest like wiping off the paint with some water after using it because it will stain. I've used it once and it's stained already. <laughs> Eventually, I'll stop caring, but for now, it's less than a week old. I will be super pristine about it for now. And also, I might as well admit it now, I feel like I'm gonna go down a slippery slope of watercolors again. Um, I swore I would stop with the Sakura Kois because that I, I've been wanting that for like 3, 4, 5 years. And then my parents got me the Kura Sakura Saitambi for Christmas so I was super happy. I thought I'd be done already. And then this came out and it just completely screwed me over. <laughs> so goodbye wallet. I will miss you dearly. <laughs> but I think after this, I will get the Koliro, um shimmery glittery paints, watercolor paints. I know in the US they're not Koliro, but they're the same company from what I remember. I think it's the Kuretake. I'm not sure if it's the same. If I'm, it's the one with the round pants with like the really nice glittery baby watercolor. Uh, it's available where I bought this from. It's Art Nebula PH, by the way. Uh, that's where I got them from, technically. Uh, uh, what else? Yeah, I'll get that watercolor set, and then maybe I'll stay content for a while. I'm not sure what set I'll get after this, to be honest. I might stop and be more economically conscious. Who knows? I'll probably hold off of the, trop um, the classic for now. And the tropicals because they're somewhat similar to Sakura Koi. So I might get Pastel Dreams and maybe Odyssey. We'll see. You know, to be honest, I really 100% probably will end up getting the entire set anyway eventually. Because I'm an art whore and that's how my life works. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this kind of content, if you like watercolor, digital, traditional art, anime art fan art whatever please 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 feel free to like this video or even subscribe that would make me kind of happy um thanks for joining me follow me on facebook instagram or even art to see like works in progress and stuff and i'll see you around <laughs>